Hey, it's Aaron March, Coldwell Banker, West Shell. It's spring here in Cincinnati, as you can see. We're here on Hyde Park Square, and this beautiful weather wants to pick up the outside. So I thought I'd walk around and um, have a look and maybe see what new, uh, new businesses are available here in Hyde Park Square. Just up the street here is uh, Breadsmith, and I thought we'd stop in there today. So here we are on Michigan Avenue, right in front of the Breadsmith. The proprietor's name is Ward Ballman. We're going to go in and have a word with Ward to see what he's got cooking today. Alright, we're inside the Breadsmith here with the proprietor, Ward Ballman. Ward, how are you today? Very nice to see you. We've been waiting a long time to interview him, interview Ward, because as we wait, more people come in and out. So I'm taking a, a quick moment to try to get a few words in with him. Ward, how long have you been here on this following square? We've been here since the 21st of January. Uh, construction obviously started before that, but we've opened on the 21st of January. So okay. Ward, I've got some kind of funny questions for you, um, but I think specifically, I'm kind of curious, how many different kinds of bread do you make here? Well, I have the potential to make 300 different varieties. I pick the menu based on some certain items. I do my daily breads, which are up here, every single day. And then I, I, I take different days for different breads, probably doing about 200 a day, something in there. 200 loaves, not 200 different varieties. Uh, my varieties are probably 12, 10 to 12 a day, something like that. And we'll throw some extras in there at some point. So, next question. When do you start to bake the bread? Well, actually, this production, we do everything here on site. So the production crew starts probably around midnight. They come in and mix the dough, shape it into whatever shape it should be, and then bake it. And I arrive about 6 in the morning, and they're usually still here baking when I, when I get it. So it's an all night. Yeah, they work the other side of the clock, is what my son says. <laughs> what, um, what's the farthest someone's come to get a little bread from? Well, I did talk to somebody from San Francisco wanting to know about sourdough. And of course, San Francisco sourdough is a little sour. Ours is on the lighter end of that, and uh, they seem to like it, so it worked out well. What's your favorite bread? Really? I have two favorites, actually. My all-time favorite every day is the, is the seeded Italian loaf. It's a basic, standard, everyday bread, but it holds up for sandwiches, toast, French toast, whatever, dipping if you want. The other one of my favorite is rosemary garlic ciabatta. And that is a really great bread for any kind of thing. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, I couldn't help notice on my way up here, you're right next to a yoga studio. Have you found that uh, people who practice yoga are big bread eaters? Actually, they either come by before they go to class and order something or come by afterwards. And I've been told that the movie you the yoga next door has the best studio in town because I've got the smells going in there. They love that. I could probably take like a two hour class. There. Oh, yeah. Well, it's hot and it's like 90 degrees, so. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> uh, Ward, I appreciate the time and the sure. interview. Thanks so much. Luck to you. I'm, I'm going to walk out of here with a loaf or two of bread because it smells so good. All right. And uh, best wishes for uh, success. Well, thanks. I appreciate the, the time. Sure. Thanks so much. Thanks.